Hi guys, exactly two years ago this month, I shared a step-by-step -step video of how I used liquid rubber to waterproof the plywood deck on a playhouse that we have. And the number one question that I get asked on that video is how is the liquid rubber holding up? How's the wood holding up? How's it looking after two years? So this video is all about showing you how that liquid rubber looks two years later, my thoughts on it, and whether or not I'd use that product again. But first I had to give that plywood deck a good cleaning. It's like 100 degrees out in Houston these days, so my kids aren't playing on this playhouse right now, but it has been a really good place for us to hang out when the weather is a lot cooler. I wanna start off by saying that this uh, liquid rubber feels great under bare feet. So if you are using this on a deck that you're gonna be walking on with bare feet, it feels sort of like walking on a linoleum floor. So. It is soft under bare feet. It doesn't feel sticky or weird to walk on. It feels really comfortable. I like walking on the liquid rubber surface with bare feet. I use the smooth version of liquid rubber for this plywood deck. They do make a textured version if it's gonna be a surface that you're gonna walk on when it's wet from rain or from a pool. I have heard that that textured version is just as comfortable to walk on, so no worries there. I'm cleaning this liquid rubber coating with just a little bit of Dawn dish soap and a little bit of water, scrubbing it with just a soft bristle brush. So be careful with metal or any harsh scrubbers on that surface. And they recommend that if you are going to be cleaning snow off of it in the winter, you also need to use a plastic snow shovel, not one of the metal ones. It's not easy to gouge that liquid rubber coating. This playhouse deck is underneath a bunch of live oak trees that are constantly dropping branches onto that decking. Some of them are at pretty high speed. We do get high winds here. We are, we're in a hurricane zone in Houston. So we have had some really strong storms, some really strong wind events, throwing branches on there. I have two little boys that go up there banging branches and all kinds of stuff against that liquid rubber coating. We haven't had any damage or any changes to the look of it so far. So two years later, it seems still really durable and tough. Underneath the deck on this playhouse, I actually have a storage shed that I keep a lot of gardening tools in. And I have to say that there is no water leakage that has gotten through there. So this liquid rubber is still completely watertight and looking exactly the same, aside from a little bit of stains from the leaves that I haven't cleaned off yet. Okay, at this point, I'm rinsing off the last of that soap I used to clean this liquid rubber coating, and I'll give you a close-up look in a second. If you're wondering about the little bit of texture that I do have in my liquid rubber deck coating, that is from a um, roller that I used. So I used a textured roller to apply that, so it does leave a little bit of texture behind. That liquid rubber is sort of thick when you apply it and it doesn't level itself out perfectly. So if you want a completely smooth looking surface when you apply that, you're gonna need to use um, either a brush, a nice nylon brush when you're applying it, or maybe a foam roller. So test that out if you're wanting to get a really smooth look to your application on, on decking or whatever. Test out a foam roller and see if that would be better. So my texture is from a textured nappy roller. And in case you haven't figured it out yet, I would absolutely use liquid rubber deck coating again. It was really easy to apply and it's been super durable. So I'm very happy with it. I'll put a link to my step-by-step -step video for how to use this product above and in the description below. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. As always, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below and I'll try to get to you as soon as possible. Bye, guys.